With our economy constantly taking a dive, we cannot help but ask the question, should we be coming anywhere near the housing market? Simon Bray, private property CEO, is here to give us some insight into the matter and, of course, talk about affordable housing. Simon, so good to have you here again. Good to be back. Oh, this economy situation, it is... <laughs> I think a lot of us are just feeling the pressure right now. There's been a lot of talk about it slowing down, especially mm. with regards to the housing market. Is there any sector right now of the housing market that is even remotely affordable? Yeah, look, you know, it's not been great news. Yeah. Uh, the last 12 months, last 18 months, it feels like we've just been taking hit after oh, hit. I'm feeling it. But uh, South Africans are nothing if not resilient. Yes. And the truth is, South Africa, if you look at it in an emerging markets context, if you look at it in the context of the rest of Africa, there's still some great fundamentals around South African economy. I think we get fixated on some of the stories at the top and some of the, you know, the bad press. Mm -hmm. But, you know, at the bottom, uh, we've still got a great economy and we've got some great drivers. And so um, the property market, is it a good or a bad thing? Uh, absolutely depends on the market segment that you're looking at. And I think that's what you touched on. Are there those pockets of excellence? Are there those uh, pockets in the market that are going to outperform the rest of the economy over the next five to ten years? And certainly the affordable market has been doing that. Mm -hmm. And it's sort of been silently marching on. No one's really paid a lot of attention yeah. to it, but it really is starting to explode now. So over the last ten years, the growth in sort of sub-million rand homes has been extraordinary. In the last year, the growth has been 10%, which has easily outstripped the rest of the market. And if you look at really affordable homes, those less than 400,000 Rand, they've gone up by 25% in the last couple of years. So there's real growth in that segment of the market. And I think that's an exciting story for South African property in general. Why do you think those areas have been so successful in terms of their growth? Well, I think it's a couple of things. Um, you've got a lot more first-time buyers coming into the market. And that's a great story. That's, that's this concept of uh, education uh, resulting in great employment, employment resulting in promotion, and that ultimately resulting in home ownership. So it's not, a, it's not a quick thing that you can turn on, but it feels like we've been doing the right things for a number of years and we're starting to see the result of that, which is more first-time buyers entering the market, more people interested in home ownership, seeing the value of having that asset uh, and so that's driving the market. And then the other side is this idea of, uh, you know, affordability. Yeah. Residential markets have gotten less and less affordable. So your traditional suburbs uh, have gotten more and more expensive. So the growth needs to come in other areas. It needs to come in your previously township areas or your previously um, undeveloped areas are growing at a really fast rate. You've spoken about affordability. Now, are there any schemes available that will make home ownership more um, of a reality to buyers within this segment? Well, I think, number one, it's about getting excited about home ownership. I think it's easy to get stuck in a groove of renting yeah. uh, and, and never really kick out of that. Yeah. But there's great opportunities, great money to be made in paying your own bond as opposed to paying somebody True else's bond. True story, yes. Um, you know, Mitchell's Plain is a great example. You're seeing houses that were 250,000 Rand just five years ago going for 600, 650,000 Rand. That's unreal growth yeah. for living in a house. This is true. You know? yeah. um, but there are some great programs, and, and the Department of Human Settlements has been supporting a program for a while now that I don't think a lot of people have really understood or gotten hold of, and that's this FLISP subsidy. Yeah. So if you earn between 3,500 Rand and 15,000 Rand, you qualify for this subsidy, uh, and it basically is a subsidy that they'll give you on top of the purchase price of the home. So if you've organized a bond with your bank for a home of about 300,000 Rand, you could stand to get as much as 87,000 Rand in a subsidy from the government. So great programs like that are stimulating that end of the market as well. I love that. Do you think that this whole trend of ownership and affordable property will continue um, you know, as, as, as the months and the years go on? Is it something that's going to take hold of South Africans? I think so. You know, this is, this is representative of a huge pent-up demand yeah. in the market. You've got a lot of people that need housing, a lot of people that need homes. Uh, the government's doing its part in providing, uh, you know, your, your housing right at the base of the pyramid. Yeah. But then this sits just on top of that. It's like, what do I do now that I've owned this house for five, six years? Well, I sell it and I build a bigger one or yeah. I move into it. I mean, that's what we all do, right? True. So, true. Um, so I think you're going to see this continue for a long period of time. Uh, because South Africa certainly isn't there yet in terms of the demand for housing versus the supply. 
And we see that with developments coming online and selling out just like that. So there is a lot of demand there and I think that's an exciting story. Oh, that's why we love having you here shedding light on those tricky issues of the economy and the housing market. Thank you so much, Simon. Well, visit www.privateproperty.co.za. Do your homework and see where in the market you will be able to get involved in. Property can be a very good investment if you do it right.